Hello everybody, my name is KJ and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now, another thing that I notice a lot of people will be wondering is why I keep changing my channel name. Um, I went from Kristen A. Uh, I had another one before, I can't remember, but now I'm KJ. Um, I'm not telling you the reason why I picked KJ, because I'm not giving it away yet. But Christinator, I thought, nah, it's too cringe, it's too boring, and I thought, nah, it's too childish. So I thought, just KJ. Uh, simple, effective for me, so why not? Uh, welcome back to Unleashing the Dark Descent, part 8. And now we are obviously on the quest to unlock a padlock by the looks of things, and this looks like acid. Yes, it does. Um, uh, acid, so I could, it looks like I, I could use that as some sort to use on padlocks, which would make sense because, you know, acid is corrosive. And it can. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! What am I gonna do? You'll never find me here! Okay, he's going away. I see him. He's coming. Over there. You don't see anything. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You dumb bitch. You was <laughs> Excuse me. He was right there. Barrel filled with acid is your kitchen. Okay. Do I have anything I can use that with? Nope, not yet. But <laughs> Alright, I'll look at him again. He's gonna come this way, isn't it? Uh tinder boxes. Okay, so there must be something around in the area before I come here to fill up something with that, like a... Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Hi. 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 Bye. Okay, moving forward. And trying to avoid Grunty. Okay, let's go in. We won't budge. Oh, yeah. There must be some other sections. I... Did he go through that hole? He, he might have done. But I'm not going in there then. Ain't... You ain't seeing me again there down there, mate. Seen a bit. Oh. And me. You are crushed to death by the rubble. Okay. This is a big maze. I might get myself lost. My sense of direction is shit. What's down here? I don't want a stairwell. Do I really need... Wow, this place is so big. Is this a big loop? It is a big loop. Okay. That's that's useful to know. Uh, what's to the left? Hello? What are you doing, naked man? Uh, uh. Okay, so you put your ass on the tinderbox that I can uh, div. Uh, anything in here important? But no. What about in here? Hey, anybody, help! Christ, I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What do I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Okay. 
You should have burned better. That's very nice of you, isn't it? 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Yeah, no shit. Everyone is relying on you, Daniel, because you're the only one that seems sane enough and alive. Fuck <sighs> say! Don't you dare come down here. You could, you just, you could just tell. It's obvious scripting. Everybody would know that the grunt is there to prevent you from progressing forward. Well, and obviously there to spook you, because at the end, <laughs> this is a horror game. But that was a monster in the last episode. What was that? Eight times more powerful. Right, where is he? Is he in the distance? He might be in the distance. Okay, not going that way. That's the loop. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Alright, um... I can't go that way. There must be something I'm missing. Is there a glass jar in here or something that I didn't... that I overlooked? Or something, uh, because there must be a reason why I can get up this place. There's a reason why I can jump up here, or something, because it it li this literally looks like an area where you can climb for something. It's, or is it a hiding spot? Possibly whilst when the grunt came through here, and I was in his line of sight, and he didn't even see me. All right, going back, I guess. I'm not really sure where to go and look for something. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. I heard that. He escaped. Where is he now? Okay, there's another block over there. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer. I just want to leave. You can't go outside. It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. Daniel, you sound like a psychopath. Of course he's there again. I really need acid, because there's like three gates that need acid because of padlocks can I oh I didn't think of that shit um I have a hollow needle that could use that could be that could have been used to unlock some of them or hammer and chipper you, could, you know knocking it I don't know if it might break it because they're in excellent condition that's the only trouble as well it won't budge what about no <sighs> I see you. Bye bye. <laughs> Excuse me. Moving forward. Moving forward. Moving forward. I guess. Right. So this this here. 
Yeah, because it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Could I use... Oh, shit. Could I use this? Could I use this? Hand drill. Oh, need acid. Where am I going to find this acid? Oh, 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 oh. He's following me. I don't know where to go. I, I'm, I'm so lost. Where am I going to find the... The, 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 oh, this isn't, this is aggravating. I've been in multiple, do I have to go back? Or something, I don't know, I don't, I can't, I can't, I literally don't know where any of this shit could be. Two of them. Don't you dare Oh, you bastard. Which way is he coming? He's coming. <laughs> I need a light this so I know that's the way to go. Is there a room I can hide in? I know he's gonna come in a minute. That's what, that's what she said. Uh, I hear you. I would like this one too. Just so we can see. Which way has he gone now? Okay, I've managed to get around him. Right, well, what's in here first? Tinderbox. Note. August 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow hey, you is a say. sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. But at a price? What price is that? I thought he was gone. Okay, now he is. Right, full tank of oil. Tinderbeaks. So this is where he was hiding. Obviously, he's in prison. So lots of these little passageways that have been built that fell down by rocks. Okay, moving forward by the looks of things. Actually moving forward this time, I'm not going backwards because... Ah, yes! Now I need to fill that with acid. Is there anything else in here? Uh, 
Just checking, just checking. Okay, nope. You know what's gonna happen now. Monster. Yep. Shit. 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 Okay, he's going that way. I need to go all the way back now and fill this with acid. Then go all the way back here and obviously get that padlock. Or another one that goes up the stairs because I've seen that. Well, I can't because that's on the other side. Or the one that's weakened. That could work. There must be like a few ways to get around this place. So this way. Yep, recognize it. And then down the stairs. And this way. Then up though. But the thing, it might be a one-time use, so I have to be careful which padlock I might pick. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! He's gone! This is my hiding spot. Hey! Would you like some potatoes? that. <laughs> use this as like blocking my view when I see him if he does come all the way down here which he possibly will okay he's moving away no he's not okay now he is oh shit he's heard me do that Why was he flipping that? I see him. He's moving away. I, I'm acid in the glass jar now. So, just gonna wait for him to go. Wait for him. I can see your butt cheeks. You've got nice butt cheeks, bro. Nice butt cheeks. I like those. Do work out. Okay. Let's. So, try this padlock. What happened to her? Oh, uh, we can try. It would do no good. Okay. Because it's in excellent condition. Right, where was the other one? It was up the stairs, the one that, that was weak. If I remember. My, my sense of direction is atrocious. I need to really work on it, especially in games. Because <laughs> literally, if you don't know where you're going, then you're pretty much boned. Ah, this one. This could work. And it does. Just gonna use this. Cool. Fuck you. The entrance to the cistern. The morning sun flickered between the pine trees as the carriage approached the castle. A faint memory of reflections in the window pane repeated itself over and over. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. I think that will do for this part. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of getting... I, I really enjoy Amnesia. I don't know if anybody else does, but... I'm really enjoying this game. So, uh, yeah, I think we just escaped the grunt, like, I don't know, eight times, and that new monster, like, twice or three times. I don't know. Lost track. But... It looks like now we have to make our way up into either one of these rooms and obviously sort out that bridge by the looks of thing from observing from down here. And it might, looks like it might involve 
these tubes with water? Unlikely, but <laughs> I don't know if they might have like a secret in them or something that I might need to get to. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching this episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm going in there.